This is Jay Park. Jay Park? He's gonna find his perfect match. Where's okay. some red flags in a girl? People that are like too standoffish from the bat. What are your red flags? I'm okay. Busy, bro. Tendency woman, looking for love? Let's get it. Hi, Bobby. Hola. Hola. Occupation. Hold the hell up, bro. <laughs> she say, I poppy. And that wasn't what caught my mind. That wasn't what caught my eye. Is her legs oiled up? Is she oiled up? Busy, bro. Tendency woman, looking for love? Let's get it. Hi, pop. Bro, is this woman got a spray tan and oiled up all for Jay Park? <laughs> B, my occupation, Mrs. Park. You look like my next boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Teddy. I don't want to pick you up. I'd rather pin you down. <laughs> oh shoot. Actually, one of them years. What? Now it's time to pick the one. My perfect match is. Dang, the animation looks fire on this joint, too. This is Jay Park. I gotta check out some Jay Park, bro. Perfect match. Here's how it works. We brought together 10 amazing women from across Korea, each hoping to be the one. But here's a twist. Jay won't see the contestants until he makes his final choice. The game is split into four rounds. Jay will have to trust his instincts, listen to their answers, and rely on a bit of luck to find his perfect match. In round Bruh. one, Jay will only see the feet of our contestants while he asks them a series of questions. Based on their answers, he must eliminate three contestants. Bro, the production on this is a 10 out of 10, bro. In round two, <laughs> the curtain rises a bit higher. Jay will ask more questions and then eliminate two more contestants. In round three, the curtain will rise even higher. This is where things get serious. With deeper questions to help Jay make his final decision. By the end of this round, only three contestants will remain. The final round is a series of speed dates. Jay will sit face to face with each of the remaining three contestants, decide who will get his final rose, and be declared. Jay's perfect match. At the okay. end of it all, Jay will pick up the final rose and offer it to the woman he believes is his perfect match. So, who will it be? What? Bruh, I, I need y'all to actually end this with the, you paying for the date or something like that. I feel like that always add like a little bit extra to it. And I see that on a couple of the dating shows, but like it need to be some incentive like, oh, we will pay this amount of money for the first date or something like that. Let's find out. <laughs> Is it just me? Park, artist, entrepreneur. I've never been on a blind date before, so I don't know what to expect. Yeah. You get some nerves, get a little shaky. I've experienced a lot, so, you know, I think I can get through. Where's some red flags in a girl? You know, people that are, like, too standoffish from the bat. You yeah. can still not be, like, too happy-go-lucky, but also not be standoffish as well. Yeah, I, I definitely get what he's saying. Like, you approach a girl, you think she's interesting, and... She just like, and I know why they do that. It's because they come across weird guys. So, you know, they that's just something that they just always alert, always on edge, which I hate that they have to live in a world like that. But if you are a guy and you understand how crazy this world is, then you could understand it, but it is still aggravating. You know, nobody wants to go up to somebody with good intentions and be treated, you know, like you got literally had no chance, bro. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it, it's like, it feel disrespectful whenever they do it in a certain way. Um, it's a respectable way to do it, like she was saying, but like I said, you know, uh, based on the experience, certain girls go through certain things, bro, so kind of like be kind what are some green flags like, i was about to say like people who, who smile a lot but yeah. you can't see their smile maybe their tone of voice how they articulate things what are your red flags <laughs> busy bro always temptations <laughs> around me i don't know there's a lot i always try to temptations. progress and grow as a human being what do you think do he mean shawties because <laughs> i could understand the busy part but are your green flags i don't like to talk about myself like that bro. it's kind of it's kind of embarrassing yeah I can see the shoes. Some people have sneakers on. Some people I like have see-through heels. So you can see like. Ooh, I ain't gonna lie. Them see-through heels. Ah. I gotta see the rest of the fit. It depends on the fit. Cause I see the vision. I'm not gonna lie. I love these dress pants that this lady got on with the black heels. It's giving powerful. See the shoes. Some people have sneakers on. Some people have see-through heels. So you can see like personality, different characteristics already exactly. like, just by the shoes. Yeah. So contestant number one. What's your name, occupation, and biggest ick in a man? My name is Rini Kim. Occupation, Mrs. Park. Okay. I've been married to you for like forever. <laughs> That's your occupation. <laughs> and okay. biggest ick in a man, Mama's boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, we made it. Contestant number two. I'm Eugene. Nice to meet you. I'm still a student in. University and my biggest egg in man should be 
Eating a slice of pizza with a fork. How do you eat your pizza? I mean, I eat my pizza. I ain't gonna lie, that is awkward. That's low key sassy as hell. With my hand, <laughs> I think he likes like a, a man, a man's man. Just. Hands on. Consensus number three. Hi, papi. Oh. Hola. She said, Hola. Hola. My name is Micaela. It Mi means Micaela. I, an angel, so I can be your angel. Okay. Oh. And the biggest ick in a man is a man that doesn't know what he wants. Okay. Me, you. Hey, that's valid as hell. You got to know what you want, bro. You got to know what you want. It's to meet you as well. Contestant number four. Because, and then, I, what I don't like about certain guys it's how do you want to be a leader with no direction? You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no direction, no structure. You haven't shown that you want to be the leader, but every guy want to be the leader. You know what I'm saying? It's like, especially if your life not together, bro, you got audacity to sit up here and want to, you know, be the leader and be the, have all of the responsibility and you not taking care of your life. So I feel like, you know what I'm saying? For the, on the guy's end, you got to just, you know, put in better effort. My name is Amelia, the biggest dick. When I'm texting the guy, and if he sounds too uh, atushi, yeah, that's the dick. Yeah. That's <laughs> like, like me right now. It's like, dang, you know, you yeah. And then uh -huh. use like slang from like 10 years ago. And then you what put you the do? little, then you put the little, uh, what is it? You go, like, you say, Uzu. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Like, the little... That's literally what my dad does. Oh, yeah. dang. I'm not close to your dad's age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My At least he knew. I'm a cartoon animator. Okay, wow. Ooh, that's cool. Sticking a man would be a man with hot temper. I feel like they can't communicate. Uh, uh, say that again. You know, okay. Like, I have the hot temper. Hot yeah. temper. Okay. That's yeah, valid. Valid. Hi, I'm Joanna. Nice to meet you. I'm working as a global marketing manager for a beauty brand. And my biggest ache in a guy is someone who is disrespectful to elders. Likewise. Yeah. Likewise. Yeah. You gotta yeah. respect your elders. What do you guys think about my shoes? <laughs> Oh. What do you think about His shoes, shoes hard as hell. I love it. Oh. And you, and, hold on, hold on. You guys have matching shoes. Oh, oh. shoot. <laughs> no <laughs> shoes, Plato. Hello, I'm Celine, and currently I'm a master PhD student in neuroscience. My wow. biggest egg would be when they are rude, like Ooh. looking yeah. down to people. You're yeah. studying neuroscience? neuroscience? Yes. In, That's in crazy. Korea? Yes. I don't even know what neuroscience is. <laughs> Come on, bro. It got to do with the mind, bro. <laughs> neuroscience? Yes. In, in Korea now? Yes. I don't even know what neuroscience is. <laughs> I don't know too, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Vanessa. Uh, occupation, I'm an office worker. Okay. I work in an IT industry. Biggest okay. egg in IT? the world. When they're very cocky or very judgmental, I would say. Okay, yeah, for sure. For valid, sure. valid. Hi, my name is Sol. I work in finance industry. And my biggest egg in a man will be throwing trash on the street. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Don't litter. Protecting yep. the environment is very important. Very important. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm a freelance content creator and UX writer. My biggest stick in a man is probably insecurity or like fishing for compliments. Okay, like like I was like, how's my shoes earlier? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Actually, so contestant number one. Nah, I wouldn't say that was. I know you was joking, but I wouldn't say that's like Brett asking for compliments. That was just being playful, you know? I get what she's saying. Like, oh, like just clearly insecure. They want to be complimented. They want to be treated like they on a pedestal. You know what I'm saying? Just be normal, bro. You see me at a bar, what pickup line would you use? If I saw you, I'd be like, Jay, are you drunk? Because I'm about to taxi blur. <laughs> oh, that's the name of my song. Pretty witty, pretty clever. I actually that was good. Made one for you. Do you know this fly? It just slipped from your skin because it's so smooth. Okay, I failed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a hard accent, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I'm actually, I'm not going to say any big up line. I will just go, you know, and say, what's up? Hi, what's up? Yeah, uh, I want to dance with you, and Ooh. then I will, you will fall in love. Yo, are you a beaver? Kazam. Oh, that sounds <laughs> okay. nice. Thanks. Number five. Your face is so pretty. Can I draw that? Oh, that would be, that would be an honor for me. Wait, what? Your face is so pretty. Can I draw that? Oh, that would be, that would be an honor for me. I'm really bad at remembering. My head went down the gutter for a split second. I thought she said something else. If you know, you know. Names, but can I call you instead? <laughs> Ooh, I like it, I like it, I like it. Number seven. Are you chat GPT? Cause you have all the answers I need. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, spicy I'm and relevant. GPT, by the way. Uh, number eight. I think you got some on your face. Handsome. Oh, you got some on your face. Yeah, you got ah, some on your face. Like, you can actually do that in Korean too. Oh, that was nice. Okay. Number nine. 
Do I know you? You look like my next boyfriend. Woo! <laughs> 10? Mm, I can't give you a pickup line. I don't want to pick you up. I'd rather pin you down. She said that was some power. A little freaky oh ass. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so conflicted. So you're gonna you have to pick three candidates to let go. That was all really decent answers. So it seems like we got one contestant. I think it was one contestant that really didn't. The girl who bombed on the actual pickup line. Yeah, we may, we may not be the right fit. I don't think I'm the perfect match for her. Who's gonna be the first? <laughs> okay, so uh, you know, unfortunately. Unfortunately, number four, there's gonna be a generational gap. Yeah, yeah. Contestant number four, reveal yourself. That'd be funny if she's dressed exactly. I forgot about her, but genuinely, yeah, I get why he went with her. She was probably actually the best option. I just forgot about her, to be completely honest. But she was saying that, like, if he text old, and he said he text old, so it was like a, a clear, you know what I'm saying, layup right there. They throw him an alley-oop. Like, <laughs> it's not just me. Oh. What was your name again? Amelia. Amelia. Thank you for playing the game. You look very young, though. Like... Thank you. You are very young, though. <laughs> yeah, thank you for playing the game. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Uh, you shit. Thank you for playing. How do you feel right now? Boy? Even though the time we spent, we were just having conversation, getting to know each other, and mm -hmm. then yeah. now the moment is gone. <laughs> and with that, we're going to have to eliminate another contestant. Oh. Who's it going to be? You know. Obviously, even though I do appreciate good art, that's not where somewhere I would want to go on my first like a perfect date. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. Um, I feel like he targeted an art girl. Number five. Contest number five. Dang. Please reveal yourself. Oh, well, I thought you were Korean. <laughs> right, What's your name again? Uh, Yumi. Yumi. Wait, hold on, hold on. So the Korean girl's name is Amelia, and the non-Korean girl's name is Yumi. <laughs> Show is this. Nah, that's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, Thank facts. Yumi. And with that, you're gonna have to eliminate enough. I like her aesthetic, though. I'm not gonna lie. Show is this. Thank you, Yumi. <laughs> Thank you, Yumi. Art. She and do with art. That, you're gonna have to eliminate another contestant. Damn. The last person I'd like to eliminate. Is Brian. Get the f out of here, Brian. <laughs> I'm not eliminating anybody else. To be honest, bro, I don't know what to base my choice on anymore. Yeah. So mm. I think, you know, I would I'd like like a second opinion since you are my wingman right now. Okay. 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 You know, I think Drag him in. Let me let me warn yeah. you. Okay. I'm a very practical person. So I'm always looking for the most protection on my toes. Okay. And I see what? a lot of dangerous shoes here. <laughs> bro, don't tell me you're gonna kick somebody up because if they shoe safe or not, my my nigga. <laughs> oh, I don't even know if I could call him that, but bro, come on. <laughs> Contestant number seven, I'm very sorry, but um, please reveal yourself. Oh, what's your so name? Sorry. Celine. Celine, Celine, nice to meet you. Thank you for Thank playing. You Thank you for Thank playing. You. Appreciate you coming. Okay, with that, we're going to move on to the second round. Okay, got it. Okay. Hold up. These, I ain't going to lie, this fit looking like it's fire, bro, with the, the khakis. The way these lay on the legs, like the fit is immaculate, bro. I cannot wait until I get into fashion. Like I really want to accelerate my content career and like make more money and stuff like that so that I can really be the person that I know I can be like the superstar. Not even like in terms of like fans or anything like that, just like my aura, like the way I carry myself. I just don't got the money to get the clothes and to be like, I don't know, like, ah, but one day it's going to happen anyways. I'm loving these khakis, the way they lay over her legs, bro. Not to say her, not saying nothing crazy about her legs. I'm just saying, like, I like the way these fit. Um, with the shoe combo, and it looked like she got like a a, a dark brown top on. I'm loving the nails, the hands. Mm. <laughs> the rest of these fits cool. I, like I say, I love the uh the dress pants. Um, other than that, I feel like the rest of them just you know chill. So on to round two. We're going to have to eliminate two contestants okay. after this round. Let's jump into it. Let's start from the opposite end. Oh, yeah. Well, let's switch it up. So number seven, what is it, your red flag? My biggest red flag is that I have daddy issues. Daddy oh, issues. Lord. I'm not going to lie. That's never really a good, you know, sign. You know what I'm saying? It's not like no deal breaker or nothing like that. But that is something to factor in, bro. Okay. 
Thank you for your honesty, number seven. I'm kind of bad at replying to texts quickly. Oh, okay. Okay. I found that guys don't really like it when I like scold them. I'll be like, uh, do this and do that and do uh, that. It's older. Like a changuri. Yeah. Yeah, nobody really want that for real, for real. Because then it feel like it's a, it's a lack of trust there. It's not even really that you want them to do it. It's just like, it's a lack of like you think I'm less competent to that that I wouldn't do that, you know? And if they continuously do that, it's like, uh, like you know my mom, like you know what I'm saying? And if you find yourself nagging all the time, that's also a sign that you're not happy, so you need to evaluate why you're there. You know, you as a person. I change the topic a lot, but don't worry, you'll never get lost and I'll keep the conversation going. Okay. Yes. I don't know why, I believe her. <laughs> my biggest red flag is this dress that I'm wearing right now. So walking okay, red flag. Okay, when I was mommy. Years old, we were married in a virtual world. It was called The Sims. What? Me and you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you're 15. How old are you now? 27. God damn. Dang. She been curtain. crushing for a minute. No, bro. You need to go back and say thank you, nigga. <laughs> she been crushing for a minute, and she been giving you that energy since the start, bro. She's matching your hair and everything. <laughs> How old are you now? 27. God dang, this makes me feel old. Behind this curtain, yeah. I can't play confident, be anything, but I'm kind of weak when I'm around my ideal type. Oh, uh, okay. And number one, what is your red flag? I ain't got one. Oh. Ooh. I'm a walking green flag. Ooh. Is that a red flag? Does she say she don't have a red flag though? <laughs> what are your thoughts so far? These questions definitely help me gauge on the yeah. different characters that we have and their personalities. I think it was very simple. Like, will we be able to hold a conversation, right? I'm thinking of com compatibility. Mm -hmm. You gotta eliminate two contestants. Okay. Dang, that's tough, though. Who y'all eliminating? I don't know, bruh. Who am I eliminating? All of them gave a pretty solid end. I, I would get rid of girl on the end, contestant number seven with the daddy issues. You know what I'm saying? Nothing against her. I just feel like that's, you know what I'm saying? Based on everybody else's answers. Everybody else gave decent answers. And I feel like if you go first, it's low-key a tough, you know what I'm saying? But I would go that and the girl who nag all the time. You know what I'm saying? I can't do those. If it was going to be the first contestant, you're going to let go. I feel like the way we carry a conversation would be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So it might be a little bit more difficult than I would think. Yeah. So, and, and that person is... Contestant number four. Contestant number four, can you please reveal yourself? What? Yeah. Oh, we do. Hi. What's your name again? Duran. Thank you for participating. Of course. She seemed chill. No, I you. like her Appreciate outfit. It. And with that, who is the second contestant you're going to be letting go? You know, although I like someone that knows herself, mm. right? Mm. I also like humbleness as well. Humbleness? Red hot? The person that has to go is, is, is number one. Contest number one, number one please valid yourself that was valid 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey what's your name again Reed. she Reed. pretty yeah. very nice to meet you thank you for playing thank you for playing thanks Reed. dang i hope none of them go cry bro i'm loving this business fit hold up red hot looking red hot shit <laughs> This is the last round before you get to meet them face to face. So we're eliminating two. Yeah. How old she said she was? This is the last 27? round before you get to meet them face to face. So we're eliminating two. Yeah. Um, so, ooh, this is a very, very spicy question. Okay. Number one, if you called your ex, oh, ooh. what would he say about you? Oh, that's about? always a good question. That's always a good question. Most nicest thing about me? Nicest things. Yeah. Okay. I... No, we want to hear everything. <laughs> we want to hear the good and the bad. What would he say about you if he was being truthful? That's what we want to know. <laughs> he say the most nicest thing about me? Nicest things. Yeah. Okay. I told him I love you every single night. Oh, okay. I did my best to him. If he said something bad about me, I cried a lot. Cried a lot. Oh, yeah. Contestant number two, if we called your ex, what would they say about you? First of all, them 
He will not pick up the phone. <laughs> he will not say a, a word. I think I maintain really good relationship with all my ex boyfriends. Yeah. Uh, I never had a bad breakup. It was always mutual. I think he would say good things about me. I think he would say you are the only woman I can think of who can be cute and sexy at the same time. <laughs> okay. Am I proving that? To what? Us? Could you give him a call right now? I can call him. Yeah. Dang. Hey, that's a curveball by the host. Hold up. Okay, it's gonna be on speaker. Hello. Oh, oh my God, Teddy. Whoa. Hey, he... <laughs> we all thought we was in the conversation. We was like, hold up. Is he the ex for real? Did you let him go or did he let you go? You said he would say nothing but nice things about you. But what's going on? <laughs> you said, hey, Teddy, like, damn. You want him still? That's what, <laughs> that's what you was giving us. Hey, Jay Park was like, hey, chill out, chill out. We still on the show. <laughs> What's up? I'm on a show with Jay Park, and they told me to call my ex. And? <laughs> and you're on a speaker. Can I say hi to Jay Park? Hey, Jay, how you doing, bro? We asked the connect question to Vanessa, like, if we had called your ex, what would they say about you, right? She okay. said that you'd say very, very nice things about her. So we asked her to prove it. So that's why we called you. Yeah, she didn't explain. Bro, hold the hell up. Bro, I know y'all didn't look, look at her face, nigga. <laughs> Bro, look, her hand was not in a fist right here, but as soon as Jay Park asked that, she was like, you bet not ruin for me this, you bitch ass nigga. What? <laughs> bro, 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 bro. So that's why we called you. Look at this fist, bro. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> Did they edit and highlight that fist? <laughs> so that's why we called you. I have only good things to say. Vanessa. Oh. Oh. Super oh. Chill. Okay, cool. Making me emotional. <laughs> I want to date you, Jerry. Yeah. Okay, Teddy, thank you for being a good sport, bro. Absolutely. So, Facts. They're the perfect match. Yeah, they're the perfect. He has a girlfriend. Oh. Oh, damn. Hey, all right. I'm very happy for them. Oh, no, for sure. That's good. That's good. Okay, number four. My ex was saying... I ain't gonna lie. That was a green flag, bro. That was a green flag. That's, that felt healthy. I don't know why he answered his ex phone call, but if especially if he got a girlfriend, but we not here to criticize Teddy. <laughs> we here to see if she gonna win this date, and based off of what I've seen... Other than the fist, I don't know. I uh, low-key was about to give her a Hall of Fame school threat badge. She low-key was about to start reaching in her backpack. But whenever we thought she was about to pull something crazy out, it happened to be a book. We're in the right environment. The right thing happened. She said everything lined up. <laughs> hey, you're the only person can be very playful. Sometimes can be very calm but dorky at the same time. Good. That's That's good. good. Yeah, very okay. Very positive, sure. I like that answer. <laughs> I'm too nice in both a good way and a bad way. Okay. I took care of him really well, but I also just let him do his own thing. So even if he wronged me in any way, I just didn't really say anything. I kind of held it in. Uh, oh, I think damn. That kind of snowballs into like a communication problem. Yeah. Yeah. Being too friendly, but also kind of like being a pushover, which isn't healthy for like a. Facts, bro. I feel like a lot of guys, like, they get caught up in the nice guy act because they not really good people and they be nice to the point to where like anything and i think girls see this and they hate this is when they could step over their man it's like how could i respect you if i could do whatever i want you know what i'm saying and in as in being a nice guy like if you can't be a respectable man like it's no you know gray area people just gonna step on you like dang Relationship. Yeah. Okay. I feel like a therapist. <laughs> I'm ready to meet face to face and yeah. actually have a, a regular yeah. conversation. Yeah. Right? I ain't gonna lie. Jay Park need a mature partner. He getting he's older. You know what I'm saying? And you know I could tell he definitely be focused, even though he be having songs like McNasty and stuff like that. That's his career. Yeah. Yeah. Or but I can tell he pretty intelligent. Yeah. Let two contestants go. Yeah. Who y'all letting go? I don't know. I would have to let go. Is Contestant number five. Contestant uh, number five, can you please reveal yourself? 
Hey. Oh, she's so pretty. Rachel. Rachel, thank you for participating. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right, Jay, you gotta let go. Oh, yeah. she was so, so cute. The next person I'd have to say. Uh, Why they hold the hands? Contestant number one. Dang, they do. Contestant number one. <laughs> in the red, say, uh, go ahead. <laughs> Contestant number one, reveal yourself. <laughs> hey. Oh, what's your name? <laughs> Bro, she's Thank not you. playing. Thank you for participating. I want to stay here more. <laughs> I feel you. I feel Thank you. <laughs> she's pretty too. The final round. So many pretty ladies. Face to face. Yep. And we're gonna set up a little date for you. With that. Okay. Go to the final round. Ew. It's getting serious. You're not a contestant, bro. Come on. Yeah, move <laughs> around, bro. <laughs> this is it. This is the final round. Yes, sir. Make sure you ask. The right question. Yeah, cool, man. He good, good, he good. Bring out the first contestant. What's in his ear? Okay, cool. Post. Hi, Hi how you nice doing? to meet you. Vanessa? You Vanessa. Vanessa. Nice to meet you. Are you Korean? I am Korean. How do you speak okay. Korean? So I graduated high school in the States. I went to university in Japan. Okay. But I took classes in English. So you're born in Korea then? I'm born in Busan. Busan, okay. Yeah. Oh, so do you still like traveling? I love traveling. Yeah. Where, where do you like traveling the most? I really want to go to Turkey right now. I've been to a lot of like places in Europe. Yeah. Never been to that area. Is there anything you want to ask me? So I I'm broke. Ask, what are you looking for in a relationship? That's a good question. I think someone that just kind of Gives me peace. Not a lot of drama, I guess. Yeah, That's yeah. Very thoughtful. I've got a lot of blessings and I've I've achieved a lot and I'm very thankful for that. I feel like there there needs to be a time where I need to take some time off for myself as well. What makes me happy, what's important to me. So you want someone that's very mature. For sure, for sure. Though. That's very deep. Yeah. He gives me like I've worked so so hard, now I just wanna relax and I need somebody who go understand that I got work and understand that I'm in, you know, my business and everything like that. But also, just be my peace. You know what I'm saying? Just be there to relax me because I got everything taken care of. You know what I'm saying? I don't need you doing nothing extra because, like, we straight, you know? And he definitely at that status to where, like, he shouldn't settle. You know, he, he, he it's no point in settling. Like, they really just gonna have to, you know, rock with him. You know, on the real, though. He, he don't want it to be fake. He wants something that's real. You know, you genuinely rock with the kid. You know, we get along and blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, when it comes down to the nitty gritty, let's chill, bae. Type shit. Is it? I'm sorry. I, I don't know. It's, I it's, love it. I'm done for secret. Her eye contact going crazy. I see you. That's <laughs> very deep. Is it? I'm sorry. I, I don't know. It's, I love it's, it. I'm done for singing more man than I'm saying this. So I don't know. It's just my favorite song. Is it your favorite song? Yeah, I saw you at Water Bomb. Okay. I okay. Saw you at Mon Everyone was screaming, and that's the first time. Actually, I'll be honest. I was very into like very tanned guys. Yeah. We're more of like. I'm more yeah. pale. Yeah. Ever since I saw you, my type changed. Really? Dang. Yeah, you have glass skin. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> glass skin. Oh, well, thank you. Nice meeting you. Okay. Thank I you like back. the flirting. Oh, you're back again. I'm back. I feel like you want to... That seemed like it went pretty well. I ain't gonna lie. Be a contestant, bro. I saw sparks flying. Her really? energy was yeah. there. You want to get your eyes checked, bro? <laughs> For the eye doctor. All right, let's bring out contestant number two. Cool. <laughs> okay, red hot. Hi. Michaela. Michaela. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Michaela. Thank you for choosing me. Damn. <laughs> and she's like a Barbie doll, too. Oh, no, thank you for being here. I think you look better in person, honestly. I appreciate it. So so you were born in Spain? Well, actually, in Hawaii. And then when did you move to Spain? I moved to Spain when I was one year old. Okay, so basically, it's like you lived in Spain. You're from Spain. Yes. Okay, when did you come to Korea? When I was 19 years old. You used to be 27? I'm in Korean age. Okay, oh, so you did, you lived here for eight, nine years? No, years? I, I left. I left. Actually, one of the things that impulsed me to came to Korea was that I saw your music, your music video moment that inspired me to become a model in Korea and actually I was in one of your music videos. What? Yeah. Which and one? It was a sign here and ah. I've been called for the... Wait, 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 but it wasn't my scene. It was, yeah, no, it was no, no, no. You're just modeling here or do you go to school here? No, no, I mostly... I ain't gonna lie, she might, she might be a W because I'm looking at how attentive this man is, how he asking questions back, how engaged he is. She didn't pique this interest. It was, yeah, no, so it was not very important. No. You're just modeling here or do you go to school here? No, no, I mostly do comedy videos about living in Korea as a foreigner. I like to just present myself as a comedy girl. I think I'm pretty funny. I'm gonna look up your stuff. What, what's yeah, your, um, I'm trying to see. Hand? 
<laughs> no, this is how y'all gonna bond. Like he already like famous, you know, he got his little, you know what I'm saying? He wanna get into your world and see what you about, shawty. Don't get scared now. This is how you break that barrier. You come on. The real ones know what I'm talking about, bro. This is how the sparks start flying and you really fight. like come on. You supposed to just be vulnerable and trust him and then whenever y'all like Realize that y'all trust each other. That's when the bond. Damn! Don't fit. Like this, an alley oop. Come on! Look at this man. He's jumping out the seat because he wants to know. <laughs> no, this man Jay Parker the, on the edge of the seat. <laughs> what do you like to do besides work? I love to be. I love to try different food. Like, you really cook? Yeah, I really cook. Okay. Like, I feel like I'm super fast. Okay, for sure. No, bro. She cooked too. Dang. Dang, 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 dang. She cooked too? No. That's a, hey, hey. She getting better and better. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Thank you for coming. Appreciate you. I'm back. Oh, I wasn't. She was like cool. She was cool. Diverse the contestants are. It's it's interesting to hear people's stories, why they came to Korea, how they speak English. We got one more contestant. Cool. I get the vibe that I think there's. I, think I love to cook. One. Yeah, dude. This is where people are gonna come to get married now. Let's see <laughs> contestant number three. Go. <laughs> These some solid contestants, Hello. I ain't gonna lie. Hi. The businesswoman? So, and so. So, so. Yeah. Hi, Lori, nice to meet you. Wait, how is, your, is, your, is, that, is that like a Hispanic name? So means pine tree in Korean. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, how do you speak English? I used to live in the States for about four years. Okay. And I also learned English when I was in high school. Yeah. Okay. Bro, I think it's so cool that like these people get to travel and stuff. I definitely gotta get out and travel more. Um. I don't know, bro. It's just my life is just so awkward sometimes. Hold up, let me focus. My life is just so awkward sometimes, but I do need to get out and travel because I feel like that's a huge part of life. You know what I'm saying? It don't have to be. And even if it's not, I wouldn't be worried about it as long as I'm happy. Um, but I feel like why limit myself to just being in the United States? You know, go out and see certain cultures, experience those things because you only live once for real. Where did you go? I lived in Utah, but I also Utah. went back and forth San Francisco to Utah. Okay, that's cool. I know you're from Seattle, I'm from right? Seattle. What's good about Utah? There are a lot of beautiful nature and also well known for skiing. You ski or snowboard? I do ski. Uh, okay. What quality do you look for a woman? You know, it has to be a good human being, right? I think that's very yeah, important. Yeah, very important. Try to build your life with, I guess, understanding. As someone that's going to put in the effort, right? Yeah. Part, right? It's, it's very abnormal, right? It's, it's unusual. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it's going to take a lot of understanding and a lot of patience to deal with it. Right, to right. Do it. But yeah. How would you describe the good human being? I think someone that's uh, able to be compassionate and empathetic. Right? Oh, yeah. To see somebody else's right, point right. of view. Facts. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, bro, I ain't gonna lie, Jay Park, low key, like he's very, very intelligent, bro. Like I would love to have a sit down and talk with him, like That's it. or a podcast, you know see who, a podcast. Uh, the one is assuming that I have to give this rose to just one contestant, right? There's only one rose. Yeah, I think I got a pretty good idea, though. We'll okay, I got rose. Yeah, it's time to make a decision. Got it. Jay, you've met ten amazing ladies today. Yep. Now it's time to pick the perfect match. Who's it gonna be? I'm interested. I feel like he liked the first two girls the most. So uh, I feel like it's not just up to the conversation that we had, but everything that led up to the facts, conversation as facts, well. Facts. The answers just topped it off was kind of the energy and the vibe I got from the conversation um, that we had face to face. And it was very different than what I expected. I made my choice. It was a very tough choice. I mean, everybody was wonderful. All 10 people was wonderful. You know, the three conversations that we had was, was all good conversations, I felt like. So I, I, I made my choice and okay. my perfect match is... <clears throat> Think, don't you? Oh, I knew it. Yeah, you. Hey, <laughs> bro, stop acting like you didn't know. <laughs> Kyla. Had that man on the edge yeah, of his seat. Hey, I 
I feel like girl number one and her low key was a toss up. I feel like she was just a little bit more interesting because she had the social media stuff. Low key, she might understand a little bit more than you know some of the other girls. His lifestyle, but they didn't even talk about that. I know she's pretty tall. You know what I'm saying? Hispanic. I'm so happy for you, man. Cool, cool. Yeah, this guy is my perfect match. Thank you for you putting Vanessa. Yeah, right? Vanessa. Appreciate you coming. Thank, Thank you so. I appreciate you as well. Appreciate you getting up safe. Have a great day, guys. Mm -hmm. Cool. I, I mean, how do you feel? You for choosing me? No, no. It's an honor. We had our our face to face that you were going to be very kind of you know very a big personality, but you were kind of very like reserved and yeah, uh, relaxed. Yeah, this way. Oh, how much? How much? Yeah, it's more than necessary. It was a very unexpected. Oh no, she speak the language, nigga. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so hyped for her because he low key like I could tell the energy was just there with them too. I don't know like if she's like trying hard. Ladies, let me know. Can you tell if she trying hard? Because I feel like low key, and this is like what I was thinking about when we when I first heard her speak. Because I pay attention to everything. I make sure I scan all of the badges to make sure no stone is unturned. Is whenever she said that she had a crush on her and they was married in The Sims. I was thinking she's gonna try hard. I'm seeing the little stuff like her pointing and stuff whenever the girl walk off and I'm seeing all of this stuff, even though I'm seeing the green flags. I don't know what she was saying, but she knew what she was saying when, and she knew what she was doing when she was doing it. She came looking trim, you know what I'm saying? Twin came looking trim, <laughs> twin came looking good. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? She she did what she had to do to come out there with the W and I, I, I respect the W. <laughs> Charming points that I saw. So I want to dance to my release, but it's a it's a song called McNasty. Yeah, so, I love that. Oh okay. lord, this would be my perfect match. Thank you. I'll just do it acapella. Let's go. Okay. Looking for a freak, McNasty. Four chords, macho cross on the mop, baggy. More than a high swing, the jerk that I you on. This man's eyes is on the prize. We thought his eyes was on this girl, bro. He over here for promo. Of course, macho cross on the mop, baggy. More than a high swing, the jerk that I you on the by the night, looking for a lady. Okay, nasty, she bringing that energy. Freak Nick Nasty, 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 freak Nick Nasty. Okay. Nasty, nasty, freak Nick Nasty. On the by the night, looking for a lady. Yeah, I look for a lady. I'm the one fan, and we about to have a baby. Thank you for being my perfect match. I appreciate you. Congrats on finding the perfect one. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. Thanks for coming appreciate out. You. Make sure to stream Nick Nasty. Shout out to Dive. Shout out to you. Thank you for uh, helping me find my perfect match. Um, and everybody show a lot of love to McNasty out now. Let's get it. Thank you, hey. everyone. That came out to That was really, really good. I might have to check out this channel more um, because this was really, really interesting. I feel like I learned a decent amount about Jay Park. He got lots and lots of uh, composure up there. You know what I'm saying? He's very, very intelligent. I could tell he got his head on his shoulders. I, and one thing that I really noticed is he a businessman for real. You know what I'm saying? He he handling business when business needs to be handled. And like he said, he just needed my girl who not going to do too much. I feel like he was actually being genuine with his type and stuff. Do I think he was actually looking for a match? No. You know, I think he came on here, showed personality. It was a cool opportunity. It would be fun. Um, he's promoting McNasty. You know what I'm saying? Little stuff like that. And it would be a great way to, for him to talk about, you know, his actual, you know, preferences and stuff. Like what he actually looking for. Um... But do I think that they're going to go on a date and this, that, and the other? It's a possibility, but I doubt it. Um, y'all let me know. Did y'all enjoy this one? Um, I felt like this one was a cool one.